Hi folks, today I wanted to make a follow-up video to my previous video where my son and I built an AR. And what I wanted to do today was just show you how I install these little Magpul flip-up sights. There's the rear sight and the front sight. And uh, here is the RAR-15 rifle. It already has a, a little tr true dot, I'm sorry, true glow red dot. There's some thread locker on the screw, which is cool. And let's go ahead and get started with this uh, front sight. Generally, what I like to do is uh, try to get the sight as far forward as I can. And so I'll go ahead and maneuver this sight on, on the Picatinny rail and slide it in. And what you want to do is uh, um, kind of peek in through the hole and see where that... Uh, that notches on the rail, you may have to maneuver a little bit uh, backwards or forward to uh, make sure that you line up with that notch on the Picatinny rail. And once you do that, I, I typically will uh, hand tighten, hold the back um, side because there's a nut on the back side that you can uh, drop. And then right after uh, I get it hand tight, I will screw it down with a screwdriver, get to the bottom of uh, of the thread there and then give it just a little bit more and that should do it let's go ahead and uh, flip this back or back up and down give it a little test um, for all intentional purposes we are installed on that front sight next let's move on to the back um, the charging handle will need to be pulled back just a little bit I like to get all the way to where you can see one notch on the Picatinny rail once it's in the up position and then I'll screw it in just like the other one find it find the notch on the Picatinny rail where the screw goes in and then we'll, we'll test it and we're all set up now you'll notice I have a, a red dot scope on this it's already been sighted in and my intention here was to co-witness with my iron sights or my um, mag pull sites that I just installed and so y'all can probably see that little red dot there when you are in the process of setting up a co-witness the idea is to have a straight line if you will between the people site the front site and the red dot in this case so the site that's in the middle when those three things are set up, you are co-witnessing. And uh, the purpose of that is it's so that you've got a backup in case, say, the battery dies or the, the site, the red dot site becomes damaged, for instance. Now, because I've got pretty good alignment between the red dot and my front and rear sights, I don't think I'm going to need to make too many adjustments when I get out to the range. I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you've got any questions. Otherwise, uh, good luck to you on your own installation.